this is your boy Nels Gamer guys and today's video will be our team of the week 9 investment guide um, guys there's there's two different ways you can invest in these players you can be sniping these players and we're gonna go over um, the best cards to snipe right now you can be sniping them quick flipping them and making quick coins like that and then we can also uh, are gonna talk about you investing in these cards in the long term um, on Saturday and Sunday guys um, but if you are new to the channel this whole channel is based on FIFA 19 trading um, I will be putting out a weekly investment guide for the team of the week so y'all can make just an un un unseen amount of coins uh, per week trading um, informs. I'm also going to be putting out different trading methods to help y'all make millions of coins in the game. I have several people who, like, there's probably hundreds of people that follow me that are actually, that have made millions of coins already. Um, so I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make coins. I'm going to be showing y'all some good squad builders. I'm going to be showing y'all some player reviews, showing y'all the best players to use. Um, and and, it's, and all foot content really in general will be on this channel. I also do stream um, most days at 6 p.m. UK time. I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the weekend league. And then I stream a few times during the week. So hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon to the subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. And smash the like button on this video. Let's try to get 30 likes on this video. And share this video with anyone you know um, who trades and wants to make coins. And if you have any additional questions um, revolving your team, rather revolving investments black friday market crash any of that stuff guys feel free to dm me on twitter at nails gaming follow me on there and then also dm me on instagram and follow me on instagram at deontay nails and all my social media links like my twitch my vlog entertainment and prank channel and my twitter and instagram are in the description so go check them out guys but um let's get into the video for today so we're going to talk about um the best cards from um, this team of the week to, to snipe and invest in so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to go to foot bend and we're going to just kind of go over um, all these influence prices guys so if you don't know what foot bend is it is like a, a foot uh, it's a foot database where you can see all players all their prices live um, so you just go over to players in the top left hand corner you go to new players and then you can see all the new influence prices so we're going to start off with with David Silva guys David Silva 90 overall 115,000 coins on PS4 125 on Xbox. Um, uh, Cavani is 190 on PS4, 180 on Xbox. Chesney is 58k um, on on, on PS4, 64k on Xbox. And the reason why I'm going through these prices is because the price differential decides whether what you're gonna do. So um, if if a card is 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 more than 30,000, more than really 30,000 coins, um, depending on on the overall, I would generally say there are players that you would snipe. Um, but they're, they're general players that you wouldn't invest in for the long term, I should say. Players around that 18, 17, I would say 17 to around that 40K mark are the players you're going to snipe, maybe even 50, 60K. And we're going to go through, finish going through all the rest of these players. Uh, Marco Royce is, is, wow, 457,000 on, on X, on PS4, 440 on Xbox. The Pi, um, the Pi is 150 on PS4 and 150 on Xbox. Um, Rami is 24,000, um, the 84 uh, center back, he's 24,000 on both consoles. Robinson is 98k uh, on, on PS4 and 105 on Xbox One. Um, Partey, absolutely fantastic player, guys. He's 38k on PS4, 42,000 on Xbox. El Shirari is 23 or 24,000 on both consoles. Uh, Gignac, um, he's a striker on the bench. He is, um, he's around... 18,000, 18,500 on both consoles. Um, Alisson Play, he's around uh, 37,000 on PS4, 32,000 on, on Xbox One. Hector, who we're going to talk about here in a second, he is 32K on both consoles, around 33K on both consoles. Sorry. Um, the right back, um, uh, he's 15K on both consoles, or, or he's 15K on, on PS4, 16K on Xbox. Uh, Matt Zells, he is around 11k, 12k on both Xbox and PS4. Um, uh, Furpo is 13, 14,000 on, on PS4, 15k on Xbox One. Um, uh, Van de Beek is 12,000 on both. Um, Seven, it, it, he's around 12,000 on both. Ron Dunn is 13,000 on both. And then all the rest of these cards are discarded, and we're not even going to talk about them yet. Because, well, we're going to talk about them first, actually. Be, but we're not going to talk about the price there right now because you shouldn't be buying these cards for anything more than discard. So we're going to start off with the with the, the we'll start off with the sniping filters, guys. We'll start off with the best ones, the best of the, these informs to snipe. And I would say the best informs to snipe um, from this team of the week currently 
um, is, is Rami. He's around 24,000 coins. I would say that Partey is a good one. Um, Hector, for the time being, is a good one, but make sure you put him back on the market fast because he is um, a Bundesliga player. Uh, or he's, he, I shouldn't say he's a Bundesliga. He's a Bundesliga 2 player. He's, he's um, German. And there was that um, Bundesliga player of the month card that came out, and so his price skyrocketed when that came out because he was in form, he was needed. Um, I don't know when that's going to come back out again because it did get taken away. So this card is is it, it, it's, it's at a weird point right now. So it, it's way overpriced, guys. So if you're sniping, you can snipe this card and put it back on the market quickly. Do not hold on to it for any period of time. Uh, let's see how much is Chesney. Chesney, he's around 58, 60k. Um, I would say you could probably snipe him, but you're going to have to really get him cheap. Um, I would say that El Shirari is a good one to snipe. He's in that 25K mark. Play, he's a good one to snipe. Um, he is in that, uh, well, how much is play again? 83 overall play. He's around 37, 32K. That's perfect. Um, I would say that the Pi, Cavani, David Silva, uh, Robinson, and Royce, they're a little bit too expensive. But I would say play, El Shirari. Uh, Rami, Partey, um, Hector, Chesney, and, and Robinson, or, or not Robinson, and Hector are the best ones to snipe. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to go through and show you all how to snipe these cards. Um, and, and these on the bench are too cheap. They're just too cheap. There's not enough spread um, in between their, their price and, and what you have to get them for with taxes and everything to make profit consistently. It's just not possible. I would not try to snipe those unless you're going to snipe them um, to hold them. And we're going to talk about that in a second. But the way you would snipe these informs that I just went through talking about y'all, telling y'all to snipe. For example, you go to El, Sh no, I think El Shirari has another inform. We'll go to, let's see, who's a good one? We'll go to Rami. Rami is the perfect one, Rami. So we're, you're going to type in Rami in the auction market. All right, so Rami. And you're gonna go to special, and then for example, let's see, does he have a? Okay, he. I don't think he has a. Does he have a Champions League card? No, perfect. Okay, so Rami, he is around 20. Let's find it. Let's find his buy now, guys. That's that's the first thing you want to do. You want to find his buy now price. So I mean, he's around what 20, 25k right now, and it is the dead time of the market, guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Um, so you want to find that buy now price in around 40 minutes because you, you don't need to sell these informs super, super quick because if you're sniping and mass bidding on, on informs, then that means you most likely have coins and you have a good amount of coins and you and stuff. So you can be playing games and, and trade doing other trading methods while you wait on these to sell. Um, so Rami, he's a 25K. Let's say you, you search him up 25,000 coins at that 40 minute mark. Um, what you would do is you you got to account for tax and you want to make at least one to 2,000 coins profit on this card. So you, you got to account for the tax. So what you would do is you would go down, let's see, tax for that would be uh, 1,250 coins. So you would go down to, I mean, 23,750. That would be your profit. I mean, that would be your break even line. That's where you're going to break even. So you want to go down another thousand from there, at least at 22,500. That's the most you want to pay. So you're just going to go here. And at that at this point, you're going to make a thousand coins per card. Um, and you're just going to try to snipe. And there's not, there's not going to be anything that pops up right now because it's so late. Um, but you're just gonna simply just try to snipe it. If, if nothing comes up, then you just you, you can go bid or you can go snipe another player. So let's say nothing comes up and you want to go bid on another player, you just do the same thing. You go here 2275 and you just try to win these cards on the bid. And like I said, it's the dead time of the market, so there's not a bunch of cards on the market right now. Um, and you can do that for like all the informs I just said, El Shirari play. Um, you can do that for all these informs. Um, but make sure you check the prices. Don't go based on my prices right now. You check the prices before you do these because these prices will be completely different. Because by the time you watch this video, it will be probably the peak, you're closer to the peak time of the market, and you'll be able to get cards for there'll be a lot more cards on the market. Um, so you'll probably be able to get them a little bit cheaper and then sell them um, for a little bit cheaper as well. Um, but you'll still better make good profit off of those. Um, and then now we're going to talk about the investment side of this. We're going to talk about the cars you can invest in and make a lot of a lot of coins. And I'm going to show you all an example of what I mean. Um, if if you were following me, you've been watching me for a minute. You would be able to. You would know that I. You know. You would know that I'm a, a an avid inform investor. I bought Hazard about three to four days ago. Um, four days ago, I would say last last Sunday. Um, for around 19,000, 18,000, actually 18,000 coins. I bought four of them for 18K a piece, 
sold them for 27,000 coins and it's only been a few days um, so great great investment method I bought these Freds for for 28 and 29 K sold them for 35 K um, so one to watch is also good as well but the informs the, the best informs the best in for the long term um, are always look at your BPL and Bundesliga informs always 100% because every every month they're gonna go they're gonna skyrocket just because they are needed for that BPL and Bundesliga play of the month so always look at, at BPL and Bundesliga informs first um, uh, then after that you want to look at informs that are playable with that are affordable uh, don't mess with the higher rated informs or don't don't mess with the higher priced informs yes you're gonna make you're gonna be able to make more profit per card but you're not gonna be able, you're gonna be able to make more profit on, on a card but you're not gonna be able to invest in as many so for example say you buy Robinson for a hundred thousand coins and he goes up to 120 thousand coins you could have bought 10 discard informs or 1081s or 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 881s that are going to go up eight to ten thousand coins, um, and, and realistically, let's say Robinson goes up forty thousand coins. You, you you get them for hundred k. You sell them for make one thirty five, one forty. You're going to make around thirty thirty five. You're going to make around thirty k profit off Robinson. But you could have invested that hundred k or that hundred and thirty that hundred k in the Rondon or, or like ten of Rondons or 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 a couple of Gignacs or, or a couple of Furpos, and they, these cards go up eight to ten thousand coins minimum. And you could have made a hundred thousand coins off of that hundred K instead of only thirty. So it's qual it's quantity over quality, guys. When you're investing in informs, always invest in the discard informs. These informs, buy them for nine thousand. Buy them for the absolute the le the least amount possible. Like literally, buy them. Go on Footbin and look at what the least they can be put up for and buy them. So nine 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 seven nine six is 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 usually around nine five I think is the cheapest you can buy an inf or sorry it's nine two. So for for Finto and um and for my bill um these cards they you, the cheapest you can get them for this card price is nine thousand two hundred. So I would pay at max nine thousand five hundred at max nine thousand five hundred from Morello and uh, Alasik um it's nine three and nine or it's nine. Nine six and nine seven, so max I pay is ten thousand. But try to get them for as cheap as possible. Discard, that is the best way um, to invest in those. And, and some of those cards skyrocket. Some of these cards, guys, will, will go all the way up to twenty five thousand coins. Some will only go up to ten or fifteen k. You can cash out, make three to five thousand coins per card. Um, now the other ones like Rundon, he's a BPL inform, guys. You're gonna try to, you're gonna want to get Rundon for as close to, to discard as possible. He's around thirteen, fourteen thousand coins right now. Invest in these cards on Sunday. He might be eleven or twelve thousand coins. He'll go up to twenty thousand coins. Um, at, 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 at most, it'll take until the the Bundes or the BPL, the new BPL player of the month. So, in, at most two to three weeks, you'll have to hold this card. But a lot of times, these cards will go up to seventeen, eighteen k within the first week, and you can cash out and make six to eight k profit. Um, and I would do that for all the 81s, guys. All the 81s, 82s, um, they will definitely go up to around that 20, 25k mark. The 81s will, will go up to around 20,000 coins for sure, and or I would say 18 to 20,000 for sure. And then the 82s will go up to to that 20, maybe even 25k mark. And then 83s, they they have the potential to go up from 25 to 30k, depending on if they're from a good league, nationality. Gig Gignac, he's around. What is Gignac? What is he priced at right now? Gignac is pricing around 19,000 coins, guys. He is French, um, so he is a, a very usable inform. Uh, well, not usable. He is a very usable for SBCs inform. He's, his stats aren't super good. People are not going to use him in, in weekend league, so he doesn't hold a lot of value in that aspect. But if you can pick some of him up, um, I pick up maybe a, like three or four, maybe five, and, and you can make a couple thousand coins profit on, on his card um, as well. Um, next up is Rami. Rami um, El Sharare play uh, maybe in even party party is a really good player guys he's a fantastic player i have his um foot champs edition card and he is fantastic i feel like this card will skyrocket in price just because he's amazing in game guys i've been using him this weekend and he is ridiculous guys he, you if you want to see me use him come to the stream uh, later today 6 p.m uk time and i'll be using him he is a fantastic absolutely spectacular player um play he's a bonus Liga player so he's automatically gonna go up with the Mooney Seeker Player of the Month, and then El Shirare and Rami are, are also good players. Like Rami has 63 pace, 83 defending, 88 physical. There will be people that use him in the weekend league. Same thing with El Shirare. El Shirare will be using the weekend league, and Chesney is not bad too. I would stay away from investing in Chesney for the long term 
um, simply because he's so expensive. He's 60,000 coins, and you can invest in other cards and make coins. Um, but Rami, he's 25,000 coins. I would look to try to pick him up for as cheap as possible Sunday, maybe 20,000. If you can get him for 20, maybe even 19, 18,000, that's going to be fantastic. He will go up to around 30,000 coins for sure. Same thing with El Shirari. Plea. Um, Plea is, is, is a little bit more expensive right now. He's around 30 to 32,000 coins right now. I say you would probably be able to get him for around 25, 30K, somewhere in that price range on Sunday. And I feel like he will go up to at least 40, 45,000 coins. Because, uh, I mean, he's a great card. And look at me, he's 85 pace, 85 shooting, 82 dribbling. People will definitely use this card in game. And, I mean, he doesn't have bad stats either. High, medium work rates, four-star uh, skill moves, three-star skills. Great player. Um, and, and people will definitely use that card. And in the party, like I said, he's around 40,000 coins. And people, I feel like, will use this card in the weekend league. And, and once he find, once people find out how overpowered he is, people will definitely be using him. And he could go from... from I, I feel like he'll drop down Sunday to maybe 35, 30 to 35,000 coins. And then he'll rise and he'll probably hit that 45 to 55, maybe even 60K mark. Um, but that's going to pretty much do it for today's video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Stay away, like I said, from Robinson. Royce, Diva Silva, Depay, and Cavani. Don't mass invest in those. If you are going to buy them and you want to get them for a good price, buy them on Sunday and you will you will make profit on them because I know a lot of people want to buy Royce. They want to buy David Silva. They want to buy uh, Cavani to use in their team. Um, so if you do want to do that, buy them Sunday. You will be able to get a good deal and you will be able to make some profit down the line on them. But thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel. It's me, Boy Nels Gaming. I'm out. Peace.